Hey guys, welcome to another Gabe's Cooking segment. Today we are making Cajun Carbonara. And guys, it's not actually like a Cajun dish, like Korean Asian dish. It's actually something else. But it could be anything you want it to be because this dish is really flexible and all these types of measurements don't really make it the way it's supposed to be. With that said, let's get into this week's hot. My bad guys, not even the right show. So what's carbonara? Carbonara is um, this dish that has like lots of cheese and noodles and eggs and uh, sorry, too much story time. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a pack of bacon. You're gonna take your bacon and cut it into small pieces. Okay, now we got that. We're going to put it in our pan. So carbonara actually demands for pancetta. It's a saltier and thicker cut of meat, but it's also more expensive. Bacon, you're gonna wanna crisp it up really nice. And at the same time, you're gonna boil water for your pasta. While we're waiting for the water to boil, we are gonna be making the sauce for this dish. On Snapchat, left hand this time, here we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now let's do this. Oh, no, oh, no, one more, one more. Ah! Yes! Look back to check my bacon. I totally freaking forgot to turn on the stove for the water. Ah! Okay, now that that's heating up, let's actually start making the sauce. You're gonna add about like hmm, a cup of cheese. So I'm gonna do half and half like cheddar and then Parmesan. You can add more if you want though. I'm gonna also add a little bit of like this minced garlic that you can just find in stores. And I'm just gonna put in a little bit to make it nice and garlicky. Let's make this sauce a little bit more Cajun now. So we're gonna add first oregano leaves and also ground thyme. Then what we're also gonna add, oh, <laughs> Look, it's on the ground. Next, paprika. So add in a nice helpful dose of this. And then also cayenne, red pepper. And then you're also going to add a little bit of garlic powder and later salt and pepper just for taste. Check back with our water. Still not boiling. But our bacon is pretty crispy. Now that this is ready, we're going to wait for it to cool to add to the sauce mix while we wait for our water to boil. So let's drain all the fat first. So the important thing to know about carbonara is that in order for it to work, you have to make it from scratch. So you always have to cook your noodles. What's going to happen is once you're done cooking your pasta and you take it out and then you sift it and drain it, you're going to put the hot pasta right into this bowl and mix it. And being is that this is raw eggs and cheese, which is supposed to cook with the noodles when you put them right in. If you don't use hot noodles, then it's just going to be mush. If you're making carbonara at home and you have leftover pasta that doesn't have any sauce, don't use leftover pasta. You actually have to boil your pasta. It's time for the pasta test, so let's see if it's done. And if it sticks to a wall, then it is done. Yes! I just drained the pasta, now it's time to put in the mix. Yeah! Oh wow, fog. Man, it was so foggy, I could have been making fog gras. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. Fog gras, okay, I'm done. Okay, so as you're mixing, you're beginning to see how this sauce is actually thickening up. I might have added a little bit too much pasta, but that's fine. When I say this dish is flexible, you can literally make it anything you want. So you can add more cheese to make it cheesy or even add some cream to make it more saucy. A few takeaways from today is that always use hot fresh pasta so that you can make your sauce and this is a flexible dish so you can make it any way you want. See ya!